Hello, everybody. My name is Prasanna Obala Bhuvanesh. I am a lead hardware engineer with Infineon Technologies, Power Management, and Multi Market Division. I've been in the semiconductor industry for over 12 years, working anywhere from product definition to IC design and predominantly in power management circuits. So, today we're going to look a little bit about uh, global warming and how Infineon's products are placed to address it. So what is global warming? Global warming is warming of the globe. And what are its effects? Its effects any, range anywhere from melting of the polar ice sheets, the glaciers, the sea level rise, average precipitation increase across the world, more frequent flood, droughts, and many more. So what is causing global warming? Data from Bloomberg clearly shows the rise in temperature from 1880 and onwards. And we can see that over the last 75 years, the temperature has risen by almost a degree. And this is in line with the emission of the greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide. So where are these greenhouse gases coming from? Now, the data from the Environmental Protection Agency of the United States, taken from 2014, shows the breakup. 12% from consumer and residential which is basically the appliances that we use in our house, the lighting, the chargers, the adapters, the computers. 21% from industry, which is basically used for powering the industrial buildings and factories. Transportation, 26%, half of which comes from passenger cars and vehicles. Agriculture, 9%, comes from the fertilization techniques that's used. And electricity, 30%. Electricity here refers to the power generation, distribution, transmission. Now that we know the breakup, what are we doing about it? Because the total emission of carbon dioxide is 6,870 million metric tons, and that's a lot. So we see a lot of products today in the market that are eco-friendly. For example, in the lighting application, LED is one such. LED emits less carbon dioxide, and data shows that changing all the lighting in the world to LED would help avoid 735 million tons of carbon dioxide. The appliances in our house are getting smarter in how they use resources. Solar, electric vehicles, these are all examples of applications that are going green today and many more. So although these products are striving for efficiency, a lot of the times they are handicapped by the limitations of the building blocks that are fundamental to the power conversion and management in these products. So to understand this a little more, let's go into the journey of the electric power. Power is generated at a power plant. It gets transmitted through the transmission lines over long distance. And then once it reaches our neighborhood, it gets distributed to our houses. It comes in the form of AC, which then needs to be converted into DC power, which is applicable and usable to the final device. Now in this case, we see lighting application. So anywhere between the AC outlet and the DC needs of the final application, there's usually a power conversion that's needed. And the circuit that you see is an example of this. So in the circuit, you can see the many building blocks that actually contribute to this conversion. And the fundamental blocks here are the switches, like the MOSFETs, for example, the Optimos, the Cool Moss, and the stronger FETs from the Infineon family. The ice drivers, the PWM controllers, these all need to be delivering best-in-class performance in order for the final product to achieve its overall best efficiency. Now, when I say best-in-class, what am I talking about? Let's take the MOSFET, for example. Best-in-class for MOSFET is defined by its figure of merit. So in the MOSFET, we have two types of losses. One is the conduction loss that arises because of the resistance between the drain and the source. It's called RDS on. And the switching loss that arises because of the gate capacitance that's needed to be charged and discharged. The product of the RDS on and the gate capacitance QG forms the figure of merit. And the lower the figure of merit, the more lossless the device is. So we saw how the best-in-class needs for these products translate into the overall efficiency of the product. 
So coming back to the journey map here, where does Infineon's products apply to this journey? They pretty much apply all throughout the journey. So it starts from power generation, for example, in solar and wind power. Then it goes through all the way in transmission, for example, in the smart grid. And in applications, ranging anywhere from consumer, industrial, automotive, medical, you name it. Now the key thing here is not just in the utilization of power for efficiency. It's about how we utilize power to get the best efficiency. How we utilize power in an intelligent way to enhance the efficiency and how we utilize power in a secure way. So, we saw how the basic building blocks like the CoolMOS, OptiMOS deliver the best in class from a technology standpoint. Now from an intelligence standpoint, we have sensors and microcontrollers like the XMC family which deliver to the intelligence needs of saving power. And for security, we see the needs to have all our interconnected devices, which are basically talking to each other now through infrastructures like the IoT to be more secure. And with Infineon's products like the Origa or the Optiga or the trusted platform modules, we address that too. So next time you think of power, efficiency, intelligence, and security, you're thinking green and you think Infineon. Thank you.